ABC questioning. ABC questioning stands for agree, build and challenge. Now this is another absolute go-to questioning technique that all teachers should be aware of. It's really simple to use, but highly effective. So let's talk about how this works. So when conducting a question and answer session in your lessons, you can ask students if they agree with each other's points of view, whether they can build upon each other's ideas and thoughts, or whether they would like to challenge each other's ideas in a constructive way. To help demonstrate how ABC questioning can be used in your lessons, I'm gonna use an example to do that. And this example will be, what qualities make a good citizen? Let's say the first student that responds suggests kindness is a quality they would expect to see in a good citizen. You can then ask the rest of the group if they agree with that student's opinion. And in doing so, you would expect students to be able to provide rationale or justification as to why they agree with that opinion. You can also ask students if they would like to build upon the idea of kindness being a quality of a good citizen. This could be done by another student providing more information on why kindness is an important quality of a good citizen. Or students could build more generally on the idea of what makes a good citizen by providing additional qualities for other students to consider. These might include tolerance, trustworthiness, honesty, morals, ethics, obeying the rule of law, and ambition. And by doing this, you enable students to collectively build and broaden their understanding of this particular topic. And you can allow students the opportunity to challenge each other's answers. Let's use one of the qualities that was suggested in the building phase to explore that in a bit more detail. Let's select ambition. So a student may say, whilst ambition is an important quality for people to have, it isn't necessarily a key factor or key quality to be a good citizen. And as with the other two phases, you would expect students to provide some justification, rationale or explanation as to why they have that difference of opinion. So you can see here that ABC questioning is a really simple but effective strategy to use to get students agreeing, building upon and challenging each other's ideas. However, it needs to be done in a constructive way. And one of the key elements of this is making sure students are justifying and providing explanations and rationale for the decisions they are making. If you found this video enjoyable and valuable, I'd very much appreciate it if you gave that like button a quick tappity tap and turned that thumb blue. And I make regular videos about teaching and some other stuff. So if you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel. My name's Jonathan Sandling, ta-ta for now.